An argument critique is ad hominem, when it attacks the person giving the argument rather than the argument itself. And that's bad because it distracts us from the substance of the argument. The term ad hominem literally means toward the person. Incidentally, sometimes philosophers will use the term ad hominem to refer to a critique that applies only to a specific person's version of a position rather than the position more generally. You don't need to worry about that usage here. The kind of ad hominem argument you should be worried about is one that attacks a person's character or motives rather than their argument. Suppose Bob is giving an argument about gun control and I say, oh yeah, do you know Bob was arrested for illegal gun possession while he was in high school? Also, he's a Nickelback fan. Or suppose Alice is arguing against the estate tax, and I say, well, duh, Alice's parents are millionaires and getting kind of old. Of course she thinks that. Now, all of those things might be true about Bob and Alice, but they have nothing to do with their argument. If an argument is sound, it's sound whoever presents it, friend or foe, saint or sinner. Same if it's unsound, because the soundness of an argument depends on its structure and content, not on its presenter. Okay, you might say. But isn't the personal character of the presenter relevant? And I would say yes to a point. On the one hand, credibility matters. Some people are in a better position to know certain things than others. They've studied the topic, they have the relevant experience. Some people are more trustworthy. On the other hand, the reason we trust them more, or should, is that they have better evidence. And that's what we should be focused on. The evidence, not the person. Ad hominem arguments are a diversion tactic. I'm John Corvino, and this is Better Argument.